Hey guys, are you ready to travel back in time? I'm Serena here for WW Magazine and today we are going to be celebrating the magic of decades gone by as we take a look at the highlights of Walt Disney's Pop Century Resort. Here's the main lobby area. Okay, so we're starting with 1950. Goes all the way down to 1990. And they have all of this great memorabilia you can take a look at. So many fun things. Here's the 50s is great. Name that tune. Pick up sticks. Oh, check out the silly putty. Check out all the fun 90s stuff. Oh, remember those books? Games. So great. Definitely a stroll down memory lane here. All right, just across the main lobby, you have everything pop, shopping and dining. This is the resort store, as well as the quick service dining area. In here you'll find a lot of the various items that are sold in the parks. They just have sort of an assortment of everything here. But it is a good place to look for general park gear, things that you might want before you enter the parks, like your mouse ears, tees, magic bands, things like that. They do have a few things specifically for Pop Century Resort. Each resort now has their own line of merchandise. These mugs are super cute. They've got pins, keychains, magnets, and some cups down there. The overall theming of the gift shop is super fun. All right, before we check out the food, let's go ahead and take a look at the resort itself. Go outside. All right, if we're gonna do this right, I think we need to start with the 50s and then move forward in time instead of mixing it all up. So we're gonna head over to the 1950s and then we'll move forward all the way through the 90s. So what's the pop in Pop Century? Well, it actually stands for pop culture because this resort is themed entirely on celebrating the pop culture of decades in the past, specifically the 50s through the 90s. So each area of the resort is themed for a different decade. We're gonna start with the 50s. This area is really nice and shaded. If you're looking for a more quiet area of the resort, I would definitely recommend the 50s. The 50s area has a giant statue of Lady from Lady and the Tramp. And if you look over here, there's Tramp. It also has its own pool. This is more of a quiet pool that you can enjoy. We'll go take a closer look. And it's shaped like a giant bowling ball pin. Super cute. I love the giant jukebox over there. And this is a nice quiet pool here. A little bit uh, less active than the main pool over near the lobby, which is in the 60s area. I love how the bathrooms look like bowling shoe lockers. So cute. All right, we're in the 1960s right now. How fun is this? This is the area that is closest to the main lobby. According to the sign, we've got the 50s down this way, and 70s, 80s, and 90s is there. Let's go check out this fun pool. This is called the Hippy Dippy Pool. It's like a giant flower. So fun. They play lots of music from all of the decades throughout the whole resort. So you're gonna see and hear some pretty fun and famous tunes. These little flowers are cool. Splash down here. This is sort of the, the main pool here. Look at all these 
peace, love, and happiness far out. The hippy dippy pool area in the 60s also has a little splash area for little ones. I love the theming in the 60s area. It's so much fun. Every Disney resort has their own little pool bar. They sell snacks and drinks here. This one's called Petals. Okay, we have done the 50s and the 60s. Now it's time to go check out the 70s. Polyester platform shoes and mood rings and check out the giant big wheel. How cool is that? Also have this giant foosball here and my favorite, the Mickey phone. I bet you those phones are worth a lot of money at this point. Look how cool he is. Oh, hey, they got a little twister game here. That's fun. Be a fun thing to come out here and do. Check out Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. How cute are they? Giant Rubik's Cubes. Definitely 80s. Look at this. Oh man, it's like a giant Pac-Man. Okay, we got break dancing and Pac-Man. I used to love Pac-Man. And look at the giant Roger Rabbit. Check him out. So cool. I didn't know Roger Rabbit was in the 80s. Wow. So this is our third pool and it's another quiet pool. This one is like a giant computer screen. The pool is the monitor and there's the keyboard. Get your Walkman over there. You know, these days everything 80s is back so kids would probably love staying here. Giant Walkman. I totally had this Walkman, you guys. It was yellow and everything. I was so proud of it. It's a little closer look at this pool here. Check out the giant floppy disks. Anyone remember those? Anyone? Anyone? Just me? And last but not least, here's the 90s. This area is right across from that quiet pool area from the 80s. Love the giant computer screen. ABC News and Disney.com, of course. So the 90s buildings here, just these two buildings, they're going to be the farthest away from the main lobby area, but they are really close to this pool right here. So you do have really close proximity to one of the pools. All right, let's check out the food court. This is your quick service spot to grab made to order food, like brick oven pizzas. They'll also always have a selection of already made things that you can grab and go. And they offer a lot of things that are covered on the Disney dining plan as well. So here we have a salad, quiche, and soup area. Soft serve ice cream, oh, they've got Dole Whip. Burgers and sandwiches. Black and Mahi sandwich, Southwest burger. There's even a veggie burger. Some pasta, more sandwiches and subs. And over here, looks like we've got chicken, pot roast, and sides. Some more like entree dinner selections here. Let's check out the quick service stuff here. Get so your sandwiches and quick grabbing foods, fruits, drinks, and of course, the bakery section. Now one thing that Pop Century is known for is its tie-dye cheesecake. There you go. So definitely give this one a try. It is a crowd favorite. I 
also really recommend the red velvet whoopie pie. So, so good. I love the pineapple upside down cake. So very 50s and 60s. Behind the resort, there's some construction, depending on when you're watching this. They are in the process of building the Skyliner system, and these are going to be in the air transportation systems, gondola systems that are going to bring you from Pop Century Resort directly to Hollywood Studios and Epcot. It's going to give you a lot more transportation options, making it a lot quicker to get to those two resorts from Prop Century, as well as from Art of Animation, which is across the bridge here. Art of Animation Resort, which is right out over the water there, they will share this gondola station with Pop Century. And that wraps up our tour of Disney's Pop Century Resort. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you ever stayed here before, what are your favorite things that you liked about it? Leave us a comment below and let us know what you think. I'm Serena here for WW Magazine. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.